Welcome to Learning with Jess. Today, I'm going to show you how to use DeFi Llama. It is the largest TVL aggregator for DeFi. The data shown is fully open source and maintained by a team of individuals and contributors from hundreds of protocols. The main focus of DeFi Llama is to provide accurate data and transparent methodology. In my opinion, it is one of the most useful tools you can use for DeFi in the crypto space. Let's get started. We are now on the Overview tab. This is the main dashboard of DeFi Llama, and you can immediately see the total value locked in all protocols right now. At the time of filming this video, it is around 221 billion. Below, you can see the change in the last 24 hours. And the most dominant protocol right now is the Curve protocol, which you can also see here at number one. On the right hand side, you have the chart. And as the years go by, more money has been locked in various DeFi protocols. At the bottom, you can see the TVL rankings of all the DeFi protocols. You can see that the top three DeFi protocols that have the highest TVL are Curve, which is a DEX, Lido, which is liquid staking, and Anchor, which is lending. It shows you the chains the specific protocol is available on. For example, let's take SushiSwap. It is one of the biggest cross-chain protocols, which is available on blockchains like Ethereum, Arbitrum, Polygon, Phantom, and so on. Here you can see the one-day change, the seven-day change, one-month change, the TVL, and finally, the market cap over TVL ratio. The lower this number is, the more undervalued the coin is. It shows the ratio of the market cap and how much of the market cap is locked up in smart contracts. A ratio of 1.0 and above refers to its market cap being larger than its total value locked. If it is under one, in most cases, it is considered to be undervalued. You can also filter specific blockchains like Ethereum, Terra or Binance Smart Chain by simply clicking on the name of the blockchain and seeing individual protocols, their data and TVL. For example, Terra. You can see that the TVL is around 28 billion. The change in the last 24 hours, the most dominant protocol, and on the right hand side, the chart, which shows you how much USD and Luna is locked. The first protocol with the most TVL is Anchor. By clicking the protocol, you can read the description, view the TVL, and what tokens make up the TVL, along with other data like the daily change and various chains associated with the protocol. Under the chart, you have more of the protocol's information, like the category it is in, links to its audits, social pages, and website. Below, you have the methodology used by DeFi Llama to project the data shown. You can also check out the protocol's code by clicking here. On the left-hand side below overview, chains. Here, you can see the dominance of various blockchains. You have these filters on the top that you can also enable like staking, parachains, subnets, and so on. You can also type in the specific DeFi protocol you want to search. Below, you can see that from all the blockchains, Ethereum is first then Terra and Binance Smart Chain. The number of protocols built on the specific blockchain, one day change, seven day change, one month change, TVL, and the market cap over TVL ratio. You can filter out non-EVM blockchains. For example, here, Terra is first. And if you use the charts on the top, you can see how this dominance has changed over time compared to other non-EVM blockchains. You can also select EVM chains, rollups, Cosmos, and parachains, and have similar data like we saw with Terra. On the left hand side below chains, oracles. Here, you can view the total value secured in various oracles. Chainlink is number one and secures 155 protocols, with a total value secured of around 56 billion. If you click on a specific oracle, like Chainlink, here you'll be able to see additional information, the change in the last 24 hours, the chart, 
and below the protocol secured by Chainlink. On the left hand side, forks, similar to chains and oracles, you will be given the data of forked protocols, the TVL, and forks TVL to original TVL percentage. And if you click on any of these protocols, you'll be able to see additional information. Portfolio. Here, you can add protocols to keep up to date with them. To create a portfolio, click on this folder icon. Name your portfolio, press OK, and then using this drop down menu, select the folder, search for a DeFi protocol you want to add, for example, Anchor. By clicking on this icon, it will then be saved into your portfolio. You can add as many as you like and also click the same icon on the right hand side to view the protocols you have saved. To delete a portfolio, simply click the trash icon and it will be removed. Moving on. Airdrops. Here, you are given an overview of various protocols that do not have tokens yet but may create one in the future. So by using any one of these protocols, you may potentially have the chance to get airdrop tokens in the future. Of course, only connect to trusted protocols. Just because they are listed here and you use them does not guarantee that you will get airdropped any tokens. Just keep that in mind. Below airdrops, you have categories. You are able to see protocols in categories. For example, DEXs, lending, bridges, liquid staking, and so on. The number of protocols in the category, the combined TVL, and a short description of what the category is. If you click, for example, gaming, here, you'll be able to see an overview of all the DeFi gaming protocol TVL rankings. And you can also filter through chains. For example, Abegochi is number one with a TVL of around 16 million. On the left-hand side, recent you will be able to see recently listed protocols and their data below recent comparison here you can take two protocols and compare them it will calculate the price of protocol a with the market cap over tvl ratio of protocol b let's take for example two different lending protocols like anchor and compound type in the DeFi protocols and it shows you if Anchor had the market cap of Compound, it would be worth more, and you can see the upside of its current price. You can even swap them and compare if Compound had the market cap of Anchor and see the value it would have had. Pretty neat tool if you ask me, and helpful if you want to invest in a protocol that is in the same category as another. The market cap over TVL ratio will also help make you decide which one is the better bet? Languages. Here, you can see the TVL breakdown by smart contract language, meaning the different programming languages that currently exist implemented for smart contracts on various blockchains. Below languages is top protocols. Here, you have an overview of the top chains and its top protocols in categories. You can also scroll to the right to see more of the categories. Chainlist. You'll be directed to chainlist.org. Chainlist is a list of EVM networks. So if you have a MetaMask wallet, and for example, you easily want to connect to the Phantom network, by clicking Connect Wallet, you can see the network details. Click Approve. Make sure to read what the approval is requesting. And then your wallet will be connected to the Phantom network. And as you can see, there are many networks here that you can choose from. Let's go back to DeFi Llama. Below Chainlist, you have DeFi Llama's About section, where you can read more. And on the bottom left of the page are DeFi Llama's various social pages. You can also switch from dark mode to light mode. Finally, on the top, below the DeFi Llama logo, next to DeFi, you have NFTs. By enabling NFTs, you will be given an overview of all the NFT collections. This is fairly new and I think it's still being updated, but I will use it for this example to explain how it works. Similar to the overview of the DeFi protocols, you'll be able to view the total volume in NFTs on all blockchains, the daily volume, 
24 hour change and the chart. Below, you can view specific NFTs, their chains, marketplace, daily volume, total volume, floor price, and the number of owners. You can also select the specific blockchain you want, for example, Ethereum. And by clicking on CryptoPunks, you'll be able to view the market cap, total volume, various social links, the chart, description of the project, and collection information like the Ethereum address and the latest update. On the left hand side, chains will give you an overview of the total volume in all chains. As you can see, Ethereum has the most volume. It currently dominates all other chains by almost 97%. You can view the various marketplaces, number of collections, daily volume and total volume. Marketplaces. Here, you can see various marketplaces. For example, OpenSea. You are able to view the chains, collections, daily volume, and total volume. If you click on OpenSea, you will be able to see more data. And of course, you can do this with any other marketplace as well. This is how the NFT tab works. And you can always switch between the NFT tab and the DeFi tab. If you are in the crypto space, then using DeFi Llama should become one of your daily habits to keep up with various chains, protocols, and the NFT marketplace, as it is free to use and the tools available will definitely make you become a better investor. Now, you should know how to use DeFi Llama. Thank you for watching and make sure to subscribe to my channel to stay up to date with my latest content. Until then, I'll see you in the next video.